What's up everybody, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. I am here with the Troxxas Lynx. Saturdays, they're pretty busy in this area in general and there's gonna be a lot of noise. So rather than do a traditional review video, what I'm gonna do is let you hear what's going on around me. The birds like to get in on the video audio as well. And we are going to show you the controller and the battery plate removal for the Troxxas Lynx so you can see your controller and know what's going on inside. This should be fairly simple, fairly quick. I've been through similar models before. I have not been into the Troxxas Lynx yet, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We've got the battery out. This is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Uh, very large capacity, so good for them. This is a nice, durable battery that's going to last a long ride. Without further ado, here we go. For this one, I'm gonna use an Allen wrench to get, or hex head wrench to get the three screws on the plate down here off. I know that this plate is held by these three screws. I don't wanna remove anything inside here. So I guess my first move is that I'll need to take out this guard plate. It has a snap right here on the very end that when you push or pull it out, it comes out of the locking mechanism, which is up above. So this needs to come out first and then we'll pull this. That's about the limit of it. So right now I think that I'm gonna have to pull apart my motor cable. Clip here and take off this zip tie and then I'm gonna undo the motor cabling. And then there's another zip tie up in here that I'm gonna clip off. why they have heat shrink on it. Wow. That's standard JSTM connection, JST connection. This is the display. That's everything connection. That's a full harness throttle and all. I like it. So this is the controller out of the Troxxas Lynx. It has a 48 volt rating, which we know, uh, 22 amp max current. So if you're gonna try and uh, do a balanced discharge for dual battery, just know that you have 22 amp max current on your controller. Uh, the rated current is 11, so that is your continuous. 
Low voltage cutoff at 40 volts. Uh, typically, I think 54.6 is the high voltage for a battery when it's fully charged. And then throttle adjustment takes you 1.2 to 4.4 volts on full uh, throttle. And you can see the product number LSW1814-2-1E. Um, and here is your serial for the barcode. This is the motor cable connection, which is similar to the Hemiway Cruiser. And you'll notice this on a couple other large fat tires. We are unsure, have not tested whether or not these are the security features. So very low voltage current uh, discharging. Um, what we are curious about is the discharge of the battery and whether it is active on all poles. That looks like there are five wires here. So we will see. Uh, that is not something we're going to do in this video. This is the light connection for the rear lights. It looks like everything up front is powered by this cable. They are Julettes, but uh, keep in mind Troxxas has a deeper throat on most of their cables, and that includes what what's on the handlebars. So this is your controller out of your Troxxas links. Uh, what I wanted to show you is we went ahead and took this end plate off and it's filled with the liquid so it hardens all around it so it's just more like a unibody fill now. So we are not going to pull the cover on this but we wanted to check. Uh, we're happy that's there. Uh, in the event that your controller burns up, you are gonna know it because this stuff stinks when it burns. So I want to take you through the wiring real quick. Um, right here is the battery plate to controller. So this is your battery connection. It, it has a six pin connection, two larger posts. Um, you can see that it's labeled as Gillette. So if you go looking for that, um, it will likely fit. You have to get around this deeper throat. All of the Troxxas have a longer throat on their female ends, which uh, adds to the weatherproofing, but it is not the general standard that you see. So these are your general two pin connections for most of your aftermarket parts. And this is actually a light from a electric XP. And this is a brake lever from a Hemiway Zebra. Uh, both of these have been tested on the Troxxas Lynx. So what I'm saying is that with this is the same version, but if you'll notice, it pinches down a lot deeper. So right about there. And so your depth is more on the Troxxas version, and this includes the harness over the handlebars. Okay, this one coming out the top is my um, display and my throttle, basically everything. So that's this connection. What I'm doing is looking at them and then I look for the arrows on the connectors and then I just push it back together. This is PAS, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. That is a... Uh, a short connector out of the frame which is going to be the last because it's just a very it'll be a tension connection so I want to be able to rest the controller into the housing when it's ready this is the motor so when I go to put this back I'm gonna run it and fish it back down through the frame and then out so I can attach it uh, to the rear hub motor and this is my battery plate um, so right now my next best connection is what's going on here, which is my rear light. So I'm going to heat shrink wrap it so it's back to factory. So once I've got that slipped over, connect it, and bring this back over.
for this one, I know my alignment. I can just barely see it. Same principle as the others. You just want to line up the two arrows for your PAS sensor. That was not a good install position. I don't like the length of that connection for the Joulette, but you can see you, you, it is possible you can get it done. So now my main focus will be ensuring that I have this run up. So I know that my last connection is going to be my battery plate, but I've got to get my motor in there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my battery plate on there so this connection isn't lost. Again, there's arrows on the face, so utilize those. And what I've done is on the back side, run the motor through so I know it's catching. I can see that my screws will sit. I'm just making sure that my wires run through the back as was the natural orientation. And then don't forget, you have this plate that goes in the back. You slip this in into the bottom plate for the battery when in, uh, you're done. And then it just shoves it into the body that way. So I'm coming up and over the original plate for the rear frame and then I'm going to come down and through on the left hand side and then I'm looking just like I would for all of my other e-bikes. There's the arrow here and there's the arrow there. So I line those up and I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up my connection. Now I'm going to get my zip tie through here. See what I'll do is this. And go ahead and get my motor cable reaffixed to the frame. Pull out that slack. There's another one in here. I did not show you this, but the error on the display when the motor cable wasn't attached was 08. So it'll show a 08 error there. Uh, it looks like everything's ready. We're gonna pull it off of this pot and then get it to where we can test to see if the rear wheel runs. Perfect. Uh, so that's back together like normal. Um, I know now that the brakes are connected correctly, the display is connected. And the light works. This is the comparison with the Julek connectors. Uh, this is a brake handle off a of Hemiway Zebra. This would actually work on electric as well. But when you look at them, you can see the depth dif difference on the throat for the two pin connectors. We were able to get this to work, so don't think that it won't. You just have to feed it in correctly into this deeper sleeve. And then by that, I mean making sure that it fits over the top. and that the two pins here don't 
the two pins on the uh, male pin side here, not exactly what it is for your connector, but the male pin side actually fit. All right, so that is proof that it does work. The wheel was spinning when I pull this out. It can disconnects, uh, and then I try and run the throttle, no noise. Uh, when I let go, you can actually hear the wheel right now amping up. So we know that that does work. So I believe you can get these connections on Amazon. A lot of other uh, general bike parts stores for e-bikes have them as well. But this was a let's see what's inside scenario. Uh, we like the build. We, we do understand the industry right now and the harnesses and the cable types are unique to the brand and that's the way the whole industry is going. So everybody's trying to find their unique combination for power, uh, harness connections all the way up to your handlebars, how many of those there are. Uh, you'll notice with like the electric brand, there are a lot of cables running up the body of that bike. Uh, whereas Hemiway, Troxxas, and other more premium brands, uh, they are using that single cable with nine, 10 pins uh, to get everything connected. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida if you're in the Tampa Bay area. We need everyone that joins that group to contribute. We want you to help make rides provide an event, get an event going with a ride in your area of Tampa Bay and get everybody out on the e-bikes and sh share that e-bike love. It is e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida on Facebook. Uh, honestly, we haven't done much with Instagram. We're putting it out there, but Instagram is uh, a different beast for us in social media. Primary is YouTube, secondary, TikTok, following with the Facebook page, which is Electric All Wheel on Facebook, so give us a like there. And then we have the e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Again, please check that out. Join us if you're in the area and get your friends to join. Uh, we just wanna share some of that spirit and provide a forum for everybody to get it out there. Uh, it is moderated, but public, so come on in. We'll see you there. Uh, thank you very much for checking out this video. We'll talk to you next time.